My name is Jermichael Harris and I'm a recovery ally. For me that means that for the last decade I've dedicated my entire pretty much adult life to supporting individuals who are in recovery from alcohol and other drugs. Um, if I could just take a moment to go back to 2010, kind of the start of all of this. I met a young man by the name of Johnny. Johnny was 13 years old, bright, brilliant, handsome, charismatic. Some might even say that he's a bit of a class clown. Johnny had come to our treatment center a bit confused, a bit lost, very um, questioning of what was kind of happening next. You see, Johnny's home environment wasn't so great. It was unsupportive. There was lots of challenges, lots of negative influences, and ultimately, he just didn't have the resources he needed to get the help that he was so desperately looking for. If I could, for a moment, borrow a, an analogy from Mr. Don Coyes, the founder of White Bison. You see, Don recognized something here that if you could picture for a moment a tree found in a barren land, frail, brittle, hasn't produced fruit in years. But if you were able to pick that tree up, transplant it to a community in an area where it was able to receive the, all the sunlight that it needed, the soil and the nutrients exactly at the right pH, all that it needed to thrive. And just before that tree began to show signs of life, start to reproduce again, it's uprooted and brought back into that environment that it was once found in. So that's pretty much what happened to Johnny. I met him at 13. He came back to the treatment center at 15, and yet again at 17. And when I learned of this analogy that Don Coyier has put together, it really helped me to see something different here. That the treatment center was the sanctuary for the tree. We were able to build trust with him. His questions were being answered. He was getting three meals a day had a warm place to lay his head at night, had everything that he needed to thrive. And just as he was getting used to that, we were sending him back into an environment that had none of those things, or at least very few of them. And this is where the rubber really meets the road. We're talking about community here. Don Coyas talks about treating the soil. The soil is the environment of which Johnny and hundreds of thousands of young men and women just like him also operate in. That we have an opportunity now to pick up a shovel and get to work treating the soil that Johnny lives in. I for one had an opportunity to help to start a collegiate recovery community on my college campus right here at East Carolina University. And it was there that we, ended, we began to start teaching individuals about things like recovery community organizations, about recovery messaging trainings, where I learned the language. Hello, my name is Jermichael Harris, and I'm a recovery and ally. And for me, that means that I'm able to provide space and opportunity for young people just like Johnny to thrive. So what we have now is an opportunity for you to pick up a shovel, go to your local community, and start digging, start treating the soil. Do whatever you can to learn more about the stigma caused by the language that we use, like addict, junkie, crackhead, that list goes on and on. There's over 250 words out there that can describe and stigmatize an individual that has living with a substance use disorder or other mental illness. And that's just, that's not who we are. That's not who we can hope to be. But if we all get to work, put our heads together, and start treating that soil, Johnny and thousands of others will be able to be warm, welcoming, productive members of our society. But it takes all of us as a community. The last part of that word community is unity. And it takes us as that unit to make these things happen.